My name is Chris Eddy. I'm an ultrasound educator. Today we are looking at the kidneys using the curvilinear Clarius ultrasound scanner. We'll start on the right side with the scanner in a longitudinal orientation with the indicator towards the patient's head. Start with the scanner nice and low relative to the body and occasionally that even means putting your hand right on the bed. Come in contact with the patient and then begin sliding the scanner up towards the ceiling until you've identified the hepatorenal interface and the right kidney there. If you've got a rib shadow in the way, a slight rotation of the scanner in a counterclockwise rotation will typically put it intercostally rather than sitting on the rib itself and then slowly scan through the kidney assessing for any indication of hydronephrosis or stones. The left kidney typically sits higher than the right kidney as the spleen is not as large as the liver. So you may have to come up one or two rib spaces comparative to the right in order to find the left kidney. Again, starting with the probe low on the body to identify the left kidney. If you have the same problem with the rib shadow, a slight counterclockwise rotation of the scanner will clean that up. Slowly sweep anterior posterior, looking for any signs of hydronephrosis or kidney stones. When you are finished with your assessment of the left kidney, bring the scanner down to the bladder. And again, you may need to tip the scanner down in order to identify the bladder. A nice slow sweep through the bladder, assessing the bladder and also assessing the junction spaces of the ureters with the bladders can be another location where kidney stones can get lodged. And that is an assessment of the kidneys using the curvilinear Clarius ultrasound scanner.